Patuloy ang pag-aaral ng DOST sa teknolohiya ng genomics, lalo't bukod sa sakit ng tao, maririnig itong gamiting solusyon sa ilang problema ng bansa tulad na lamang ng pagbuo ng gamot laban sa African Swine Fever. May ulat si Gabi Natividad. Ibinida ng Department of Science and Technology sa publiko ang resulta ng kanilang pananaliksik sa larangan ng genomics. Sa tulong ng genomics, maagang makikita, madadiagnose at mapapagaling ang mga karamdaman ng tao, hayop at halaman. Nakatulong din ito para mabuo ang rapid RT-PCR test kits nitong pandemya at para maagapan at magamot ang mga karamdaman tulad ng breast cancer, Parkinson's disease at marami pang iba. Kasalukuyan ring ginagamit ang genomics para magamot ang African swine fever na malaking problema sa bansa ngayon. Posible ring magamit ang artificial intelligence at data analytics sa tulong ng genomics sa maagang pagdadiagnose ng mga viral na sakit. The Center for Applied Modeling, Data Analytics and Bioinformatics for Decision Support Systems in Health has provided forecasting models and maps using genomics data to predict new cases and develop better risk management and triaging strategies. The Kanda program uses AI and data analytics to diagnose and treat liver cancer by utilizing clinical, genetic, and medical images as inputs. Moreover, AI and data analytics are being used in the Philippine Viral Database Project which aims to create the country's first viral genome database with user-friendly tools, data integrity, and privacy policies. Samantala, nagbigay rin ang presentasyon sa public briefing si Dr. Sally O'Connor, fellow at program director ng U.S. Embassy Science, kung saan pinuri niya ang genomics ng DOST at ang contribution nito sa Pilipinas. The Department of Science and Technology made investments in the areas that we mentioned, human health, forensics, crop and lifestyle, and aquatic and marine resources. These investments produce outputs and outcomes that clearly benefited society. Social and economic impacts are obvious and do not have been achieved without the DOSP investments. The study also found that the land funding process, the sound, is as good as what it would be in the United States. It is fair. Iginiit ni DOST Secretary Renato Solidum ang kanilang patuloy na pagsisikap na mabigyan ng mas magandang buhay ang mga Pilipino sa pamamagitan ng pananaliksik ng mga solusyon na magagamit ng lahat. More importantly, because of the foresight of the Department of Science and Technology and partner organizations like UAIDS and the University of the Philippines and the whole scientific community, the establishment of a genomics program and the Philippine Genome Center has helped us a lot during the COVID-19 pandemic. With these milestones of successful DOSD investments, we are confident that we can continue transforming science, scientific ideas from the laboratory into tangible innovation and development that benefit the lives of our Filipinos. Gabi Natividad para sa bayan.